Hey everybody, this is Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. What's up everybody? Brock Christina with me. Say hello. Hello. Brought everyone another quick drink review, and I know folks, it's been a while, but I'm getting back into drinking beer and dark beer at that. So I thought I would bring everybody a review for the Yingling Porter folks out of Pottsville, Pennsylvania country's oldest brewer, established in 1829. Now, I've reviewed some other Yingling brews in the past as well, and Christina, your father was kind enough to gift me this Yingling Porter. Now, I've also reviewed other porters as well, folks. As everybody knows, I'm a fan of dark beer, IPAs, stouts, and porters. I have sampled the Michelob Porter in the past. I have not reviewed it uh, in terms of a video review, but I'll see what I can do there. But that was not a bad porter. So let's go ahead and get down to tax here, folks. Beer Advocate gives this particular brew, I think, a 3.4 uh, rating. Yes. It's 4.7% ABV. Um, I'm enjoying this out of a Pilsner. So let's go ahead and just take a quick sniff here. What's it remind you of? What do you smell? I definitely smell hints of um, bitterness. And I think your father, Christina, said it had hints of chocolate. And I kind of smell yeah. that a little bit. The hints of cocoa to it. So let's go ahead and just take a quick sip. And that hint of cocoa took him off guard because he was not expecting that. This is not bad, folks. Um, I definitely taste almost like a lager foretaste, but almost a stout or a dark beer uh, aftertaste. So it, it has that hint of that, that porter taste to it. Um, I think you would definitely want to enjoy this very cold, folks. Um, definitely don't enjoy this as it approaches room temperature. Probably somewhere between 45 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit in a cold glass, everybody. Like I said, I was enjoying this in a Pilsner. You may want to do this as a standalone, since there are those hints of chocolate uh, to this particular brew, or with uh, some light pub grub, maybe cashews, peanuts, pretzels, but uh, a little bit of saltiness with that, but uh, nothing heavy, but I would definitely enjoy also as a standalone. Not a bad brew, folks, especially if you're getting into a porter, and if you're also a fan of yingling, which I am. So I would probably give this brew, folks, probably a four-star snob rating. Not bad at all. Uh, as always, enjoy responsibly. But I also just wanted to remind everyone, if you like what you see, what you hear, please check out all the other reviews uh, wherever you enjoy your video content throughout the web. Also, you can check out the Frivolous Knobs podcast. Everything you need to know is at frivolousknobs.com. Until we speak again, folks, be well, never pay a retail, take care of yourself and each other.